Welcome to Hokkuki with Song Jit. Today we're gonna cook some corns. But first, I'd like to share with you how I buy and select the corns from the market. Normally, when I buy the corn, I like to buy the corn that is unopened, meaning that the corn is still have the husk intact. And um, when we buy it like this and keep it in the fridge, we can keep it up to one week. And when we open it up, it's still very fresh, right? But how when we select the corn, right? Basically, if we buy the corn, it is very green like this means the corn have not been kept from the shop for a long time. So if you buy, the husk is still look fresh and green. And then, um, of course, when you buy the corn, you want to make sure that the corn kernel inside the corn, right? It's still, um, it's nice and full. Normally, sometimes when we just touch and press like that, sometimes you can feel it whether it's got any kernel or not, or it's don't have. But the best thing is you can just open up and see like that open up and see like that so the corn kernel is nicely intact and it looks very beautiful and fresh and then the corn seal also still very fresh so meaning that this corn is very nice it's good to buy right and one more thing right when you open up and check and make sure that the kernel that there's no empty space in here or the kernel is very thin and very small and all that and it's a bit empty space here and there that is not a very good choice to to buy so when you open up and check then you can close it back and then you can select it and bring it home providing that the uh, corn seller allow you to do that if they don't allow then just don't do it okay normally when you buy corn from the supermarket they will just open up half and then leave the husk half of the corn and just to show that the corn is nice all right so for this four i have open up and check them all so all of them are very nice and beautiful okay nice and it's very fat the kernel is very fat and of course it's going to be very nice and juicy okay see so that's all how to buy and select the corn. Now we are going to open up all the corn and cook it. One more thing, right? The corn has the corn has is a good use that you can the corn has right this right when people make the dessert that is using corn and all that they can use the husk to wrap it like a banana leaf. The corn has also have a very nice fragrance when it used for wrapping the corn dessert okay just we're going to just open it up okay let's go and boil it when boiling the corn, we always bring the water to boil first before we put the corn in. This is to retain the freshness and the corn kernel will remain like this after we cook it. So I'm going to throw in about half tablespoon of salt. And then we're going to put in the corn. And we're going to... Let it boil for 15 minutes. Thumbs up. So 15 minutes, the corn is cooked and we're going to remove it out from the water. Just let the water to drip it off. We want to drip off all the water. While the corn is still hot, I'm going to brush it with butter and sprinkle a little bit of salt. So corn is all about butter and salt, right? Nice, see? While it's hot, when we brush it with butter, it just like melt. The butter just like melt and sink into the corn cup. Nice. Oh, 
lovely. Glaze it with butter and then now we're gonna sprinkle some salt. No need to put too much because we already put the salt on the when we boil the corn we already put salt right just put a little bit oops it's too much okay that's it nice lovely corn Let's eat. Who don't like corn, right? See? Who don't like to eat corn like that? You can either break it, eat half, or you can just take the whole piece and eat. Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, so delicious. The corn has natural sweetness, plus a bit of salty taste and the butter taste. This is really perfect together. Corn, butter, and salt. Lovely. I can finish the whole piece by myself. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And remember to subscribe for more of my simple cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye. Hmm. So good.